Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions Week 21. There's still being games called off due to, you know, what's going on, but there's still nine games to predict at this present time. Don't know how many will be going ahead come kickoff, but as I said, still nine games to predict, so I want to get straight out to this video. So guys, you know what to do, give it a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to try and talk about is Arsenal vs Man City. Arsenal in the previous weekend, I don't think they played. I think that's one of the games called off and I'm sure imagining so as well. Uh, Man City on the other hand beating Brentford only 1-0 away from home. A very iffy 1-0 uh, Man City win there at Brentford. Um, at Brentford sorry. Um, but it's going to be a very interesting game. Um, Pep Guardiola going up against Mikel Arteta. I don't think Mikel Arteta is available for that game because of uh, COVID. But Pep Guardiola is still want to go to Arsenal and get the three points, obviously, after putting their eight-point gap at the top of the table. Going forward to this game, I can only see City winning it, really, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Tottenham. Watford, I don't think played, and I can't see him there. So Spurs did play, however, and they only drew 1-1 one, one away to Southampton. Now, for anyone with Spurs' calibre under their new uh, manager, that's a bit underperforming, as far as I could think. It's, is that slightly a turning point? Is the honeymoon period over? You know, it's going to be a very interesting game. I don't think Watford played in the last week. Either. I don't think they played on the weekend. I could be wrong. Please don't grant me on that. But as far as the game goes, I'm going to go for a, a Tottenham win, I think, just about. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Tottenham win. The next game is Crystal Palace versus West Ham. Crystal Palace beating Norwich 3 0 quite comfortably at Southwest Park. West Ham beating Watford 4 1 away from home. Quite a dominating performance there by West Ham, if I may say so. And surely they're only going to continue their dominance in this game against Crystal Palace. Southwest Park is not the easiest place to go by any stretch of the imagination. But I still think West Ham will walk away with this game and win it by three goals to one. The next game is Brentford versus Aston Villa. Now, as I've just said, Brentford did lose to Man City. Only 1-0 at home. Surely uh, Brentford and Brentford fans got to take confidence out of that. I don't think Villa played, and I can't see him here, so I'm guessing they didn't play at all. So we only look at the Brentford result, and to be honest, Brentford have been playing that badly. I mean, only losing one, one goal away to uh, at home to City, and then only losing to Brighton 2 0, and they really did the social fight in the second half of that game against Brighton. I'm going to go for a Brentford win, though, and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Brentford win. My next one is Everton versus Brighton. I don't think Everton played, and I can't see him here. Well, Brighton, on the other hand, did play and get a 1 1 scoreline away to Chelsea. And if you join my watch along, you will see the relief on my face. And Brighton to have nothing more. Maybe deserves a three points. I may be pushing myself a bit there. But I definitely deserve a point in that game. And they, fair enough, did get so. Everton, on the other hand, they look so poor over the past few weeks. I know games being called off left, right and centre. And, you know, you can't really shake any rhythm or form into these predictions at this current stage but I'm going to do that anyway um, but I'm going to go for a Brighton win I think and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win my next one is Leagues versus Burnley I don't think Leagues played no Burnley did play however and they lost 3-1 away um, to Man United at Old Trafford Fair two very good teams, um, fair, sorry, very poor teams in the league, both down in that relegation scrap, Burnley are in the relegation zone, this is surely a must win game for Burnley 
if they want to survive. Same enough for leagues though. But I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. The next one is Southampton versus Newcastle. Southampton drawing to Spurs 1-1. One, one. And Newcastle, I don't think, played at all. I can't see them there. So, it's going to be a very interesting game. Eddie Howard is doing quite a good job at up Newcastle. You know, they got a point against Man United. Maybe should have been three. So, I'm going to go for a Newcastle win. And I'm going to go for a... Actually, no, I'm going to switch that. I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is the Mona versus the Moners. Klopp versus, you know, the Chelsea boss, Thomas Tuchel, got his name. Now, <laughs> Chelsea did draw to Brighton at home. And as I said, I don't have to serve nothing less than Brighton. Chelsea were very poor in the second half, uh, if I'm being brutally honest. I know a few, a few of you made the squee, but... You know, if you've got your own opinions, please feel free to put your opinions down in the comments below. Liverpool did lose one now to Leicester. Now you've got Pulit uh, not Pulitich, Thomas Tuka saying how is it and how is it a fair game? We've got injuries, we've got this, we've got that, we've got you know, the football calendar at Christmas time ain't you know fair. We've got all these players out injured. Well Thomas Tuka, so is everyone else. So, you know, I don't take none of that for you know it, he didn't want to pay Brighton respect, and you know me being a Brighton fan, which I am, I get it. I I understand why top clubs don't want to do it because they're drawn against Burnley, they're drawn against Everton, I think it was, and they're drawn against Brighton. That's three low, uh, not low league, but you know lower teams than them, and nowhere near really in the table standings, and they've three draws there. So same with Klopp, we need to make five subs. The, Festival calendar ain't fair. We can't do this. We can't. What you got all this money for? I really... Yeah, it frustrates me to the core when managers don't... You know, they go all about respect and respect the game. Respect the opposition manager when they deserve it. But, yeah, as I said, it's the Mona versus the Moni. I'm going to watch this game. I'm so looking forward to the, seeing this game. I really am. I'm interested to see the press conferences after the result, whether the result's going to be. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one scoreline for that one. My next one, and my last one, is Man United versus Wolverhampton. Man United beating Brentford 3-1 away from uh, at home. Sorry, Wolverhampton did not play at all this week. Game must have been called off. So we only got to go Man United on, really, and they've only got four points out of their last two games. And maybe, no disrespect to Newcastle, should be beating them at this present in time. You know, they ain't got no investment or money in yet, so rare teams they really should be beating if they want to get to the top four. I'm going to go for a Man United win, I think, just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Man United win. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.